this is a full workout, about 15 minutes. We're going to do four exercises, two supersets. First superset is going to be push-ups and rows. Second superset is going to be overhead pressing and some sliding pulls. Here we go. All right, so find the push-up push exercise that you're working with, whether it's at the floor, the wall, or a couch. We're going to do about uh, seven to 10 reps. Here we go. One, push, two, exhale, three, body strong, four, five, six, glutes engaged, belly engaged, seven, eight, letting your shoulder blades move, nine. Good, grab your hand weight, no rest in between. Heavy hand weight, lunge, lunge step, one foot back, one foot in front. Left foot in front, then you're using your right hand to row. Lift your chest up a little bit, gaze forward and up. Let's do seven to 10 reps. Pull, one. Elbow pulls up and back, two, three, four, five, six. Lift up with your chest and gaze, seven, uh, eight, and nine. Good, let's switch. Switch feet, switch hands. Do whatever you want with that free hand. Remember your back foot can step out a little bit for more stability. Here we go, lift chest and head. One, pull. Two, elbow reaching up and back. Three, and four. I like to exhale uh, as I pull up. Five, six, uh, belly strong. Seven, eight, uh, nine, uh, and rest. Focus on the exhale. You're trying to regulate your body. All right, 10 seconds, and we're going to go again with push ups and then rows. Ready? Okay, find your push up position. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Body strong. Here we go. One. Exhale. Two. And three. Four. Five. And 10. All right, move on up to the rows. This time we're going to start with the opposite hand. I started with the right hand last time, so now I'm going to start with my left hand just to see what my other side is capable of from the beginning of the exercise. All right, lift chest, lift gaze. Here we go. Row it up and back. That elbow is trying to pull back and up. So the weight does this kind of angled oh, swinging. Oh, I think we have about four more left. Three, two, and one. Switch sides. When you do a superset, it gets things moving pretty fast. Breath and energy. All right, here we go, other side, rowing. Ready, breathe in. Exhale, pull that elbow up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ha, that's all I've got. Okay, 30 second rest. You can breathe out like you're fogging up a mirror. You can breathe out through a straw. Working to get all the breath out on the exhale. 
If this is too much for you, you can go slower. You can take longer breaks. But really, I'm going for a time efficiency schedule here for those of you that need something easy for the mornings or when you have a sleeping kid for 15 minutes and that's all the time you have during the day. All right, let's go. This is the last superset. One more round of push-ups, one more round of rows. Okay, keep your form. Don't worry about um, reps. Keep your form. If your form starts to falter, then just stop. All right, here we go. Breathe in. Shoulder blades can glide. One. Two, push. Three, keep going. Remember, you might just be working on the negative, which is just the lower down. And then you push back and restart. Just the negative. Knees tap down to push back and restart. All right, that should be about it. Let's go rows. You're doing great. Uh, either hand can start this time. I'm gonna go with my non-dominant hand to begin. Because that one gets oof, less uh, focused during the day. All right, seven more pulls. And six, oh, and five. Oh. Really reach that hand and arm down toward the ground on your inhale, and then pull up. Let the weight pull it down. Oh, yeah. Switch sides. Breathing, noticing your body. Here we go. Chest and gaze lift. Breathe in. Exhale, row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, and eight. Last one, best one. Ah. 30 second break. And then we're gonna go into our next super set. How about a one minute break, yeah? One minute break. I'm looking at my timer. Okay, let's get set up while you're breaking. Let's get set up for the second round, the second super set. You're gonna need one to two hand weights to punch up overhead. And then we're gonna do some sort of pulling. So if you have a TRX at home, you could use TRX. If you have a pull-up bar, you can use pull-up bar. I don't have either of those here at my house, so I'm going to set up myself for some sliding, sliding pulls. Okay, we're gonna go two arms for this one. You know what? This is an option to do the two hand pull, but today I am gonna work the body surfing, full body pulling instead. I have space to do that, I have a slider, and it's more challenging for me, So I'm, and I have the energy today, so I'm gonna do the more challenging option for myself, considering the equipment that I have available today. All right, so second superset is gonna be those overhead presses with one to two hand weights. I might be going out of the frame, that's okay. You get the idea. Okay, I'm gonna use two hand weights. They are different from one another. So because they're different weights, for the first set, I'm gonna do them and then the second set, I'm gonna switch sides so my heavier weight's gonna be on the other side, second set. And then for the third set, I'll do half of my reps like this and then I'll switch the weights and do half the reps on the other side because I have two weights that are different sizes. Make do with what you have, right? 
Okay. I think that's more than a minute and a half a break, so you got some extra. Hope your breath has calmed down. And remember, if you need to take an extra break, you can always hit pause and continue with me once you catch your breath. All right, so overhead pressing, knees underneath your hips. You're gonna bring the hands to your shoulder height. I'm gonna sit down so you can see my full range of motion above head. And then we're gonna reach the weights overhead while trying to keep those ribs down towards the hips. Yeah, you wanna keep all of this midsection engaged and just aware of itself. It's one whole unit. Okay, you're not gonna push the weights overhead and push your belly out or push your ribs out because then you're just using your mid back, low back to do an overhead press. No, thank you. We are going to use our shoulders to do overhead pressing today and see what that feels like. Okay, so get set up, overhead pressing and full body pulls. Ah, here we go. All right, weights are at shoulder height, kneeling or standing, up to you. All right, breathe in. Exhale, press overhead. Oof. Elbows straighten as best as you can. Slow on the control down. Two. Oh. Belly engaged. Three. Oh. Four. Oh. Five. Side view. Six. Oh. And seven. Oh. Good. That's enough for me. Keep going if you need a few more. All right, come down onto your knees for your slider pulls or go to your pull-up bar. All right, arms wider than the shoulders, palms firm into the ground like you're sinking them down into, into sand. They are sticky like frog fingers. Breathe in, draw your hips towards the ground and pull yourself forward. Chest lifts on the pull through. Push back, we're gonna do that seven more times. Pull. Go nice and slow with control. Three. Imagine your shoulder blades pulling down and back towards your hip pockets as you pull forward. And as you push your body away, you can imagine your shoulder blades creeping up towards your earlobes. So your blades are moving in two directions, actually more, but in two main directions on your back. As you pull forward, your blades are pulling down. As you push back, your blades are gliding up your back. All right, 30 second break. Exhale, breathe. Maybe close your eyes. Sense what's going on in your body. Notice what's going on in your mind. If you have any thought spirals that are happening, maybe bring one hand to your abdomen and take a full inhale, exhale there. Just sense the skin underneath your palm or sense the clothing on your hand. Bring me back to this moment. Okay, second superset, let's go. Overhead pressing. I'm switching the heavy weight into my left hand now because remember I have two weights that are different sizes. Good, kneeling or standing. Firm glutes, firm belly. Let's do seven to 10, breathe in. Exhale, push up overhead. Oh, that left one is so different for me. What's it like for you? Oh, slow and control on the way down. If it feels too easy because you're using two to five pounders and you're ready to move up, oh, go to target or oh, wherever you need to to find a different weight. I'm gonna focus now just on this left one because I know it needs some help. Here we go. Let's do three more wherever you are. Oh, really working to bring those ribs down. I can use my other hand to help me. Oh, let's go four. 
three, two, and one. Okay, come down to your pulls. Letting your shoulder blades glide up and down. Go for about eight more rounds, eight more reps. If you're doing just single arm, you'll do half on one arm, oof, half on the other. Yeah, think about those shoulder blades coming up towards the ears when your arms are straight. And then when you're pulling yourself forward, the shoulder blades are trying to pull back by your hips. All right, finish those up. Now we'll take our last break. Our last rest. Uh, yes. So again, we're doing four exercises today. Two of them, one, two of them right after one another. That's one superset. And then the other two exercises right after each other, that's another superset. This is a very efficient way to get a lot packed into a short amount of time. It also is a good, um, good excuse to work some of that heart pump, cardiovascular system. It is not a substitute though for serious cardiovascular work like walking or running or taking hills. It's not a substitute for that, but it does uh, correlate to gains there. All right, let's go last, um, last set. Okay, overhead press. If you're using two different hand weights, remember to switch the weights halfway through this set. Here we go. A little bit of a tail tuck to stay strong in the glutes. Think about those ribs guiding down towards the hips. Overhead you go, elbows straight. Oh, notice any difference from side to side. Arm to arm. Number three. Slow and control on the way down, four. I'm gonna switch my hand weights. <laughs> I hate this one on the left, but I know it's gonna be good for me. Five. Oh. Six. Seven. Oh. And eight. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to have ugly reps. Work with what you got. All right, last round on the pulling, doing whatever pulling you're doing. Here we go. I'm gonna count backwards this time. Eight, seven, six, five, six, gliding shoulder blades. Let them move. I have my lost count. Let's go four. <laughs> I have other specialties. Counting is not one of them yet. Three, and two, and one. Okay, those lat muscles on the back are, might be talking. Okay, so we did our supersets. Full exercise, takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Got your push in, got your pull in. You can finish up with a, the stretch that I taught you um, on day four. And you can also use the warm up that I taught you on day one to warm up for this exercise. Um, do as you please. All right, if you do any of these exercises, tag me um, on social media, or you can just send me an email or a message and let me know how it felt with you. I'm really curious um, because I'm gonna keep doing more of these, so having your feedback is super helpful so I know where to route that's best helpful to you and your practices. Like, are you doing it at home? Do you have the gym accessible? Do you have equipment? What time restraints do you have? Let me know what you want and I'll design something for you um, so it can help you stay strong and live a long, happy life. All right, have fun, stay strong, and see you soon.